Hey, you guys. Uh, coming up to you with the uh, uh, metaphor uh, because I, I loved superheroes growing up. So I want to use this and uh, it's going to trigger some fans here. You ready? Batman is not a hero. He's not a hero, period. Uh, some people look at him. He's in the Justice League and they, you got all these fans and whatever the case. Batman is not a hero. Why do I say that? I say that because you have someone who bases his entire uh, vigilantism. He justifies breaking the law. Why? Well, because someone hurt him. Okay. This doesn't take away the fact that what was done to Batman was wrong. What happened to him, to little Bruce Wayne, was wrong. Someone robbed them and shot his parents dead in front of him, right? So it's not taking away his pain. But does that justify you putting money that you have, billions of dollars, not into helping the city, but into hurting the criminal? Look at where your focus is, Bruce Wayne. You could be using that to actually help out because if you were to actually maybe take that money and help people get jobs, then maybe they wouldn't need to resort to crime in the first place. But no, you take all of your attention and focus it on bad people, bad, bad, bad. And then you actually take the law into your own hands, break some stuff. That's okay. Got insurance. Burn some things, Batman. Go ahead. You think that you're a big superhero because you're taking your pain and you're calling it justice. When in truth, you are vengeance. You are the knight. You are Batman. You are striking fear into the hearts of criminals. Now, what's the result of Batman? Does this ever stop? Well, I don't know if you've noticed over the past hundred years, but none of Batman's criminals have really stopped except the ones that he's killed, which have been swept under the rug because now we know Batman has a no-killing rule. I mean, if you actually read some of his earlier stuff, he's killed people. He's killed plenty of people. That story's just not told because the narrative is that Batman is very nice, even though he's using fear as a tactic. You're not a hero. You're actually using fear to try and take away fear. And the only thing that it does is produce bigger and badder criminals. Because in response to Batman, now you have Joker. Now you have Bane. Now you have all of these people that would not have been there if you did not try to take the law into your own hands and become someone's personal superhero and think that you are the one that's full of compassion. You are the one that's full of love. Why? Because you're striking at the heart of your enemy. Batman is not a hero because if you were, you would do it right. You would help the people who are less fortunate than you. And you don't help the people who are less fortunate than you by beating up the people who are less fortunate than you. You don't do it just by beating up your enemies. God lifts up the broken. And in doing so, he takes the power away from the enemy. This is how Jesus operates. Batman would strictly disagree. In fact, Batman's an atheist. Wonder why? Because Jesus calls us to live differently. Batman's not a hero. Darkness is not a hero. You're just as much of a criminal as everyone else. While calling other people the criminals. How easy it is to get tricked into thinking that you're doing the right thing. When it doesn't line up with what Jesus said. Think about it.